Hi learners, in this session we will look at examples of good assignment and bad assignment. You will learn what should be included and what should be avoided to make your assignment a good assignment. Let's look at what makes a good assignment. A good assignment should include a title page for the assignment. The title page should have OEM's name, your faculty's name, the course code and title, your name, your student ID number, your IC number, your phone number, your email address, your tutor's name, your learning center's name, and the semester in which the course was registered. The next thing, a good assignment should have the table of content. The table of content should list down all the headings and subheadings in the assignment and their respective page numbers. It is a good practice to do the table of content after you have completed the write-up of your assignment. Basically, a good assignment must have a title page, table of content, introduction according to the rubric requirement, body of the assignment content according to the rubric requirement, conclusion according to the rubric requirement, in-text references and references. The characteristics of a good assignment is that it is focused to the assignment topic, it provides relevant and precise information, your ideas are supported with references, it is organized well and systematically using numbering system, each idea or issue or argument flows smoothly from one another, it is well written the introduction, the body of assignment content, and conclusion are well written. It has in-text citation and references according to the EPA citation style. And it is free from spelling and grammar errors. Let's also find out what makes a bad assignment so that you can avoid doing so. Common faults in a bad assignment are it is unfocused, it is shallow in discussion, the information is irrelevant, it is badly organized, it has poor introduction, it has poor conclusion, and a very boring presentation. So, how to avoid these faults in the assignment? Keep to the point. Do not write out of topic. Always refer to the assignment requirement. Provide sufficient content, use examples to support your ideas, address the issue with proper references. Read a lot and gather enough relevant information. Introduction must provide overview of the topic and explain how you are approaching the topic. The conclusion must tally with introduction and body of content and provide closure to the topic. Be creative in your writing approach. Include examples to support your content. Keep to outline. First, write the introduction followed by body of content with issue 1 and discussion in each paragraph, then issue 2 and discussion, and so forth with other issues, conclusion, and references. I hope this lesson has given you a good idea of writing a good assignment. All the best in your assignment!